Today, I'm looking at my top 5 favourite quirky design features found on microband watches that I've had in my collection. But what quirky design feature gets my number one pick? Stay tuned to find out. So I've been fortunate enough to have had over 250 watches coming in and out of my collection since I started collecting watches seriously many many moons ago. They started off as watch gang pieces that I absolutely loved and fashion pieces that I thought were utterly awesome at the time as I wore with pride my Calvin Klein thingamajig on my wrist. But as time went by and the hairs on my head started to grey, I very organically moved into the world of microbands. Now it really goes without saying that I absolutely love microbands. I mean, I have a channel dedicated to microbands and obscure brands and I love microbands especially because for me they have so much more meaning, so much more inspiration, have a much better sense of exclusivity than watches produced by large brands. But most importantly for me, microbrands have more compelling stories behind their brands, many of which resonate with customers like me who much more appreciate the story, the authenticity and the passion behind brand um, over heritage behind brand. So sorry to all AliExpress and Seiko fans, I've got absolutely nothing against those particular watches and indeed I fully respect and appreciate well built and very economical AliExpress brands and brands like Seiko who have an abundance of heritage but for me I love the way micros focus on niche markets and or specific styles and that coupled with uh, the weight of those compelling stories behind their brands usually result in watches that contain let's say some very quirky design features indeed. I do have a top 5 of favourite quirky design features found on my brands so let's get to it now. And at number 5 it is the bezel of the Sherwood Commander. Now the markings on the bezel of this British microbrand act as a limb of a bow um, when sat in its default position. The Commander is a watch that is inspired by Sherwood Forest's most famous outlaw Robin Hood and his merry men. Now Robin Hood's bow is an iconic emblem of courage, skill and defiance woven into the rich tapestry of his legendary exploits. And Robin's legendary status endures a symbol of hope and righteousness and to see that symbolic longbow depicted on the bezel of this brilliant brilliant watch is a design feature that I really really like. Now I had the Sunburst Blue Dial 40mm case diameter, 316L stainless steel, BGW9 loom, double dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective treatment and powered by the mighty Miota 9039 and I had a great time taking the commander around the brilliant Sherwood Forest in my walk around which you can find at the end of my review of the commander. At number 4 of my top 5 favourite quirky design features found on microbrands is the serial number placement of the Lissablia Sport Classic. You'll find the Lissablia Sport Classic serial number on the dial of the watch. Now as we know, serial numbers can serve as a means to authenticate uh, the watch's origin and verify its authenticity and probably the main reason for most microbands, the addition of the serial number on limited run production models can add exclusivity to the watches they manufacture. And I just love the fact that you'll find your Le Sablier Sport Classic serial number on the dial of the watch as opposed to the case back. And indeed you'll find that Le Sablier are a brand who put their serial numbers on the dials of all their other models, the LSO4 Travelgraph and the Chronosport. I've owned the Chronosport and this the Sport Classic but I chose the Sport Classic in my top 5 by the virtue of the fact that it's my favourite Le Sablier and indeed actually one of my favourite ever watches. 40mm case diameter, 316L stainless steel, BGW9 Swiss Super Luminova, Sapphire Crystal with blue AR coating and powered by the Miotta 8N40 and I had a great time taking it around Leeds Art Gallery which you can find at the end of my review of the Restorbius Sport Classic but bear in mind that that review in particular is nearly 2 years old now and I sound like a complete muppet. At number 3 of my top 5 favourite quirky design features found on microbrands is the fantastic lasered pattern on the crystal of the Axis Middle Ages. Now at first glance that green cross looks like it's on the dial but actually this green cross is lasered into the crystal. It's a very stylish green cross patty or cross for me which is a type of Christian cross um, with arms that narrow at the centre and flare out into a curved shape and that green cross which is set upon 
This black dial with its respective dainty gold, gothic style hands, gold logo and gold indices reflects the light in a way I've never seen before a crystal. It really does feel hologrammatic. Now it goes without saying this is the weirdest watch I've ever reviewed and I did so on the back of a promise made to the awesome guys at Axis, but it's strangely one I've kept in my watch box. 38mm in diameter, brass case with OEB plating, NH38 movement and I had a quite brilliant time taking this gothic style watch around the wonderful town of Bruges in Belgium, man what a stunning place that is, in my walk around which you can find at the end of my review of the Axis Middle Ages. At number 2 of my top 5 favourite quirky design features found on microbands is another bezel related design feature and that is the 10 minute countdown of the Van Banner PM 2.0 designed specifically for tracking parking time. Now the PM 2.0 is the second generation of Van Banner's parking master line and is a watch equipped with a countdown bezel designed for tracking parking time using these epic red and orange looms which you'll find on the bezel as a key design feature to warn you of when your parking meter is about to expire. Now it's a quirky design feature that is much loved by microband watch enthusiasts across the world and is a watch that is very difficult to get hold of with its limited production run all sold out and the entire Parking Master product line very rarely appearing on the second hand market. Now I own both the white dial and the mint blue dial but I must say that the mint blue dial for me is the one that gets the most wear and one that I actually once ranked as my top microband watch back in 2022. 40mm in diameter, 316L stainless steel, Miata 9039, both C3 and BGW9 Swiss Super Luminova and I absolutely adored taking the Van Banner PM 2.0 around the very quiet town of Villa de Guis. Um, in Spain in my walk around that you can find at the end of my review of this wonderful wonderful watch. And at number 1 of my top 5 favourite quirky design features found on microbands is the fantastic, the brilliant, the very well thought out, utterly mesmerising right hand side case of the Valamore Aurora of Arthur that mimics the hilt of a sword. Now the Aurora of Arthur is a watch inspired by the legend that is King Arthur and the hilt of the sword refers to several parts of the sword handle and comprises of the pommel the grip and the guard and this entire right hand side of the case showcases a quite brilliant feel of a hilt of a sword, perhaps even Excalibur herself. And to finish off this utterly brilliant part of the watch is this deep black Swarovski crystal that is placed at the centre of its crown. The watch itself is rather stunning, 40mm is in diameter, 316 l stainless steel, a dome sapphire crystal with 3 layers of AR, Swiss Super Luminova and powered by the Miata 82S7 which is showcased through this beautiful open heart. Now I had quite a magnificent time taking the Aurora of Arthur around the stunning city of York here in North Yorkshire in my walk around which you can find at the end of my review of the Valimore Aurora of Arthur. Now this is a watch that has many many design quirks and the guys at Valamo have really taken the inspiration of King Arthur and blended it in perfectly with the overall ethos of the Valamo brand to produce this quite spectacular watch. There is a story around literally every single corner of this truly magnificent watch. So there you have it, my top 5 favourite quirky design features found on microbands. You have two quirky design features on the bezel, seal number placement on the dial, a laser pattern on the crystal and a very quirky design feature on an entire side of the case designed to mimic the hilt of the sword. And whilst you're still here, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has made it this far in my video and indeed thanks to everybody who watches the watch reviews that I publish. My watch reviews are usually very in depth, up to 25 minutes long so I really appreciate the time that you spend and invest into watching the content that I produce. I am eternally, eternally grateful and I'm very much looking forward to having your company again in the near future.